hope you're all enjoying your day. Today's video is going to include three different stories. They're all relatively short, so I'm combining them. For my art project today, I'm going to be doing a drawing. I came up with this style about 10 years ago, and I've been refining it ever since. It's a very therapeutic style. You kind of just let your mind wander and see where the lines take you. You never really know how a drawing like this is going to come out, and I think that's part of the fun. So without further ado, let's get started. When we lived in Waltham, my mom would take my sister and me to the library once a week for story time. I believe I was around four or five years old. We always looked forward to it because when story time was over, we were allowed to pick out a few books to borrow for the week. We loved reading. We had to line up with the other kids so we could all walk into the story time room together. It's hard to explain, but we walked down a hallway and there was a gap between the floor and the wall so you could see the level below us. I looked down one time and I swore I saw a baby turtle stuck on the ledge below us. I told my mom and the librarian, but they weren't buying it. Weeks went by and I always asked why no one went down to get the turtle. It became a thing. I looked for that turtle every time we went to the library. Eventually, the librarian brought me and my mom downstairs to check on the turtle. In one of the biggest disappointments of my young life, it turned out to be a peach pit that someone had dropped through the gap in the floor. Thinking back now, it makes me question the cleanliness of that library if a peach pit had stayed in the same spot for weeks without anyone else noticing. Also, by the look of it, it had been there long before I discovered it. Leaving my grandmother's house, there was a road that the locals called Dead Man's Curve. It was a very windy road that had steep drop-offs that you could easily go over if you were going too fast or not paying attention. My dad was a bit of a daredevil, and he would whip the car around the corners to make us laugh. To be clear, we were never in any danger. He's a very good driver and knew how to handle the car. My sister and I loved it because we'd be sliding all over the back seat, even with seat belts on. It was like a roller coaster for us. We always asked to go down multiple times. Every now and then he would indulge us. He used to have an old Fairmont with red leather seats, which he would wax so they were extra slippery. This was especially fun on Dead Man's Curve and driving on icy roads in the winter. When I was little, I had a shirt that was red with yellow stripes. Here's a picture. Note my awesome acid wash jeans. That shirt always reminded me of McDonald's. It was one of my mom's favorite shirts on me. She loved it, and it felt like she wanted me to wear it all the time. Well, I hated that shirt. Not because of the look, but because the neck was so tight that it was really hard to get it over my head and it wound up pulling my hair. I would panic every time thinking I'd never be able to get out of that shirt again. Being a small child, I didn't understand that you could not get permanently stuck in clothes as long as scissors were a thing. I would complain and cry and beg, but my mom loved it, so I had to keep wearing it. After a while, I finally wore her down and she gave in. I never had to wear that shirt again. That was a happy day for me. Since I've been an adult, I haven't worn any shirt with a collar too close to my neck. Now, I'm not saying they're related, but maybe subconsciously. All right, this is the final product. What do you think? I've been told these drawings are kind of like Rorschach tests. Everyone who looks at them sees something different. That's one of the things I love about this style. It forces you to use your imagination. I'm going to be putting this one up for sale in my Etsy shop at some point. I'll put a link to that in the description box below. These drawings are one of a kind and I do not currently sell prints, so if you like it, grab it. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the stories and the art, and I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. If you liked today's video, please let me know by liking, commenting, and subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.